Peace, rise and shine. Sunshine TV. L. Sunny Handsome Ali. And uh, we're going to jump right into the class with the Grandmaster Teacher, Bobby Hemmett. And I just want to say that I really understand why um, I never got along with going to school, you know, and, and this whole system. Um, it's weird, but I know, you know, because the system's not designed for us. You know what I'm saying? They designed it for them. Basically, you know what I'm saying? For specific uh, individuals. And I ain't talking about nature now. I'm just talking about the, the matrix and the school system. And uh, how can we, how could you or me expect us to get anything when we entrust in someone else to give us our history or teach us like on an even plane? It'll never be because why would they? You know, understand what I'm saying? Do, I I can't I hate to sound like that, but if you're looking at you know nature and genetics and the way nature treats us, you know indigenous people, it's it's a beautiful thing. But the system is a whole nother energy, and the mindset of inferior, superior, you know the black and white and all that dumb shit that don't matter because in reality. I, Indigenous people know you can't own the earth. You can't own the ground. You can't own the soil. You're not supposed to anyway. But um, you want to be a landlord, be a landlord. I'm going to be a landlord of the South, you know, filling up this glass within, you know, because uh, uh, <laughs> that my glass was um, flowing over, but it wasn't um, um, with my information or my knowledge or any right knowledge to, that was going to inspire me to be the better individual that I am today and to know the difference that spirituality is my reality. I don't know about your reality, but for my myself, spirituality is everything. So one time for the one time, let's get into the class. I'm already two minutes in. Cracker from um, out here, but he put all the stuff of Revelation in his book, you know, and he's thinking, he's thinking when they say the church is in Revelation, he think it's talking about the literal church. You know what I'm saying? It ain't not, it's not talking about that church. We'll go John. into, we're going to decode this thing today, metaphysically. But that's going to be Revelation 2.10. Now, this is very key that you get this. Revelation 2.10. Indeed, the devil is about to throw you into prison that you may be tested and you will have tribulations for 10 days. Be faithful unto death. And I will give you the crown of life. Now that's not talking about for you to get up here and say, I forgive you white man and when I die I'm going to go to heaven. That's death eternity. is a spiritual eternity. manifestation of you going to another spiritual yes. level in the entity Don't coming the into you and you going to your holy guardian angel. Dang. We'll deal with that in a, today too on what that is. But it say, be, so they're talking about be faithful till the Jews come and I'm going to give you the crown of life. This is the crown chakra opening up. So they're literally saying you're going to turn into gods. Now that's the prison that they're telling these brothers and sisters in the prison. But number one, this passage, Revelation 2.10, that says, indeed, the devil is about to throw you in prison. So who the hell they already identified who the devil is? Because we don't own no prisons and we ain't over no court system. And they ain't talking about no Satan made me do it, because that Satan does not exist. You see what I'm saying? That Satan does not exist. But there's a physical Satan, and you know who the hell that is. So this is one that's telling you straight up in Revelations what it is. Also, it's giving you a, a symbol of who is God's elect people. If you get out of what is fundamentalism, and moralism. God's elect. You see, you're supposed to be gods. Nobody was supposed to teach you how to behave. You say you the gods. Is it not written in your law that ye are God? John chapter 10, verse 34, 36. Talk about it. Well, hell, if you gods, don't Talk tell me that you're going to be a god and, 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 and you need moral behavior when the animals are so-called under you don't need no moral behavior. It is just is. Then it's the reason is that you've been hit in the head and you just don't know that your nature is that of God. And that's the key. That's the metaphysical key to everything is becoming God. That's it. The key to all of this is becoming God. Nothing else. Nothing about how you behave. Nothing about what you did. None of that. Of course, they do give you these moralistic things 
things for you to get by inspirationally while you are down here. But the key to everything is becoming God. That's it. Nothing short of that. All the rest of the stuff is garbage. You see, and that's the keys to the Bible that we're going to break into today. So, but if they talk about becoming gods and they're saying, who is the elect? We know we're the elect, but that he's literally saying, other than what moralism is saying about all the brothers and sisters that's in prison, that sinners, unless they repent, he's saying, hell, them my main people is the ones that's out here doing the crazy stuff. Now, I know that's hard to get into if you're thinking on a third dimensional level. But we're going to explain once and for all why things that are going down just got black got people the crazy. They got that the you people. think that is ungodly is the most divine. Mm -hmm. Including killing somebody. And I'm not talking, see, first of all, we're not talking to the masses. If I go and I wouldn't go in the Perry homes right. and tell people a certain thing. So therefore, I wouldn't want you to say, we're, we're, take, we're talking to the gods. Believe it or not, you are going to be the people that's going to get your people out of this shit. That's bottom line. If you are here now, right now, when you can be someplace else, that's because they have chosen you even though you don't know it yet. And I'll show you in the book of Revelation where you're going to be the light bringer. It's simple. There's going to be an army, an elect army that's going to come to get the rest of them out. And whether you like it or not, all the brothers and sisters is in this Afrocentric thing or whatever. Whether you follow Yahweh Ben Yahweh, whether you follow the nation of Islam and the minister Louis Farrakhan, they took an elect few people that's supposed to be the light bringer to get the rest of the 60 million out here and 80 million in Brazil and billions across the world. It's the, the, that's the disperse. You understand what I'm saying? So, when you say it's hard for me to believe that God favors those brothers and sisters that's on crack, he favors those brothers and, and sisters that's killing and all that. First of all, killing is only doing one thing. It, killing only registers as something hideous on the third dimension. All you do is you transform the body and the body goes and the energy just go back to the spiritual level. That's it. Now, I'm not telling you that you're supposed to go out and kill. I'm trying to tell you how you won't get emotional on what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tell you to go out and kill. But I'm telling the gods that you don't supposed to be getting emotional on what's going on. What's going on is beautiful because that's a transformation. It only looks like it's hideous because you are basing on the third dimension, no physical level. This is death. That's life. So if a brother and sister so happen to die from either ending his life physically or some disease or whatever, He's only transforming, soul? and you got to get that. You understand? Once you conquer yeah. death, you got it. Because that's life. This is death. Yes, it is. All right? We're going to go through this Bible and all. So he's also saying that my elect is not only the black people, period, but it's those ones that's the most, the ones that's locked down, that's the most drags of society, is the supreme. He said, I will take the last and make them first. Yes, yeah. Well, hell, up under you is an element that's even more hideous because of the simple fact that they even more in the mud. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the key. You got to get that. So, so he said, oh, indeed, the devil may throw you into jail. He says, be faithful unto death. I will give you the crown of life. So that's talking about the ones that's getting ready to be transformed. Mm -hmm. And also, we need to get that also too. Hey, Another part that was given by Awa hey, says, hey, I will not, I did not come back to chastise you. He's talking to a people. Now, if you white people, you got it all wrong. He's talking to the ones that's going through the hell. He said, how in the hell? I'm, you done went through 400 years of physical hell but you've been going through literally about a, a, a couple of thousands of years of hell. Let's say give or take a thousand when you get this thing got real funky. Now how in the devil after all this doggone hell you going through, I'm going to come back and chastise you. That don't make no damn sense. You know what I'm saying? That's like going in a doggone crippled place and shooting up everybody for being crippled. But the moralism is what's killing everybody. You see? Somebody pointing the damn finger. That's ego. That's why the churches is the worst place. Not because they don't have the juice. They just don't know what the hell they got. Even right there in the Bible. Because they were taught by the damn white man. And the monsters ain't no different. Check.
Yeah, All right. Our people dying daily, killing each other. And fuck out of here. Excuse me. You know, pardon. So, so that's one time for the one time. I hope y'all get that. Ah, oh, man. Peace.